first at five, parades, carnival rides, shopping, music, and rodeos. They are all coming together this week to mark the opening of this year's Buck Days Festival. That's right, and more than just a tradition, this annual event is a point of pride for our part of the Coastal Bend and is once again expected to draw thousands of people to the area around the American Bank Center. Yeah, and with all of that activity, of course, comes the need to close streets and divert traffic, something that smart drivers will want to know about before heading downtown later this week. Since 1938, Buck Days has been a great source of family fun and culturally diverse celebrations, something this year's edition should have no trouble recapturing. In fact, those who are trying to make time to get to all of the Buck Days activities may find getting to the activities their biggest challenge. With several streets being closed for safety for about the next two weeks, other attractions are encouraging downtown visitors to remember that they too are open for business. There is signage and it's going to direct you down Chaparral and you're going to turn right by the Harbor parking or by the Harbor Playhouse and then you'll see our back parking lot and um, it's blocked off for Art Museum of South Texas visitors. Sarah Morgan with the Art Museum of South Texas hopes that art denizens won't be deterred by the detours. Same goes for Richard Lomax, the man behind Elizabeth's at the museum. The eatery is open for both lunch and dinner and features some of the finest waterfront views in Corpus Christi. Lomax says they are grateful for Buck Days, but they're not quite sure what to expect this month. This is our first time going through it, so we don't know if we're just going to get smoked and people are going to run in there to drink white wine and have fun uh, or if it's just going to be a ghost town. So we're just kind of uh, playing it by ear to this year. According to Tricia Aitken with the Buccaneer Commission, much of the area around Heritage Park will still be accessible. It may just take a little prior planning to park and play. Really, Ocean Drive is the best way to come up. Um, if you're heading north on Ocean Drive towards the arena, grab the parking that's all around uh, that, that gate. Another idea, park at Whataburger Field. It'll cost you $10, and you can take a Corpus Christi RTA shuttle for free. It will be available each evening except Monday and Tuesday. Buck Days opens Thursday and runs through May 15th. Now, meanwhile, there are some things to keep in mind when staking out spots for the big night parade. Viewing spots on Chaparral Street are on a first come first served basis beginning at 8 o'clock this Saturday morning. You are not allowed to mark any of those spots. However, if you're planning to watch the parade anywhere from Lomax Street to Park Avenue, you can mark your spot in chalk only. Keep in mind that some areas may be closed off for spectator safety. People are not permitted to camp along the route before 5 p.m. this Friday. Other things to remember, spectators are not allowed to use spray paint to mark their spots. Dogs have to be on a leash and of course, always keep an eye on your children. No noisemakers, silly string or laser lights are allowed along the parade route and you're asked to bag up your own trash. Also, you can only drink alcohol this Saturday along the route during the parade. That'd be from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. For a complete list of rules, just visit our website, KIIITV.com.